This is the new Who Done It Fall 2022 collection from Light Elegance. Let's start off with the color gels. I'm gonna save everyone's favorite glitter gels for last. Let's pick a random color, and as usual, I'm going to compare this to as many color gels and glitter gels that I have in my collection. Let's start off with mug shots and manicures. I kind of like the name of that one, mug shots and manicures. <laughs> Ooh, that is a very interesting color. It, well, I don't know if my camera is going to show this up true to color. It's not, it's not a pink. I mean, it has this like a slight undertone of pink to it, but I want to say it's more like in the neutral color with like browns and taupes. And all of that so it's gonna be interesting to see what color this compares to here is everything so let's start off with the center we have mug shots and manicures then we have road to zanzibar sandman tan it's showtime then up here i have show me your chakra mirror mirror on the wall first base then i have these two from the summer collection previews and popcorns and double feature this is as you can see i don't have anything here that remotely compares it's not in the cream family so i'm gonna move those away but these are all metallics and they're not gonna go and first base is more of a like pearlescent color, not so much a shimmer. So out of everything that I did grab, I don't have anything that compares. So for me, this is a brand new color in my collection. Okay, so I didn't pull this out before and I completely forgot. Mug shots and manicures, flannel for one and show mirror chakra. I did originally pull this one out, but as you can tell, the colors between these three are not, they're not that, they're in the same family. They're not that different from each other. The only really big difference, obviously, is one's a cream, one's a metallic, and one's a shimmer. But if you take away the metallic and the shimmer, the underlying color, they're all around in the same family. So I hope that helps. Next up, let's take a look at Predator in pink. This is a really nice color. And same thing with mug shots and manicures. It almost looks like the shimmer has a little bit of like a reflective glitter to it. Like, can you see that? The Predator in pink is a pink fuchsia. And for me, this leans a little bit more fuchsia than pink. And it has, Light Elegant says, is that it has a heavy shimmer with a chic satin appearance, which it completely does have like this satin shimmer to it. So I don't have a lot to compare. I pulled out these three, and this is Cherry Picked, Sassy Squatch, and Hashtag Ellie Rocks. So cherry picked is too dark and it doesn't have enough of shimmer that Predator and Pink does. So let's take that one away. Next we have Sassy Squatch and we have Hashtag Ellie Rocks. Now these are both more on like your pearlescent iridescent like colors here hashtag ellie rocks is definitely darker so that's not going to compare oh, dear lord this one is sassy squatch and i'm gonna say even though one's a shimmer and one's like an iridescent pearl color this is probably the closest color to compare so you can see it's almost in the same like color family a sassy Squatch is pulling a little bit more pink, in my opinion. But even though one's a shimmer and one's like an iridescent pearl color, they are pretty close in color. Next, let's go with Under Investigation. 
that's an interesting color. Light Elegance is saying that this is a dusty brick red, which in my opinion, I don't see any red in here. Maybe like the tiniest of red, but I don't, I know the color I would love to compare this to, which I don't have. It's an older color called Curry On. And if I have a picture, I'm gonna pop it up in the screen so you can see what Curry On is gonna look like next to here. And for me, it kind of resembles that color. So out of all the colors, I only have two to show you. So in the middle is Under Investigation. Over here, we have Graceful Gazelle. And then on this side, we have On the Prowl. So here we have Under Investigation, and this is Graceful Gazelle. And the Graceful Gazelle has more of an orangey red undertone to it, if you can see that. Where Under Investigation is on the lighter end of like a brick red. For me, this is like a dark, like orangey red, like brick red. And then we have On the Prowl which on the prowl is more pink than under investigation. Next, let's go with dusting for prints. If you could see my face. Now, I am not one for grays, but this gray tone is freaking gorgeous. Now, Light Elegant is saying that this is a gray with a touch of lavender, and I can absolutely see that touch of lavender in this gray color. It's literally like a, the most subtle hint of a lavender. Here are all the grays that I can think of to compare, and I did pull out one really, really light lavender color that Ellie came out with with like a hint of gray to it. So over here, we have Knockin' Boots, then we have Locally Grown, Relay Gray, Pool Shark, Polymer Pal, Stroke of Genius, and Khakis and Cameras. Now I will say Stroke of Genius and Khakis and Cameras don't compare, so let's move them out of the way. Polymer Pal is too dark, and that's more like in your blue tone for gray. I'm gonna pull away Locally Grown and Relay Gray because those are too light in the gray family. Now all we have left is Pool Shark and Knockin' Boots. And to me, dusting for prints is kind of in between these colors. So I didn't think to do this before. But here is Dusting for prints, and this is Come One, Come All. So you can tell Come One, Come All is darker, but they're both in that same, like, family. And Light Elegance is saying that this is a gray with, like, a, a hint of a lavender. But I want to show you how... These are both in the same family. So like me, if you put it in color order, not really sure where to put it in your collection. I put um, dusting for prints with come one, come all right uh, next to each other in the draw. It's a hard color to describe, but these are the two, this is the closest color I have in my collection, even though I know come one, come all is slightly darker. Next, let's go with Mr. Peabody. <gasps> I freaking love this color. Okay, so Light Elegance is saying that this is a jewel toned blue and green color. To me, this is more of a teal, like a dark teal color. We have Cleopatra, Midsummer's Night, Worth Waiting For, and I'd Like to Thank the Academy. Now, I did pull out Midsummer's Night only to show that Mr. Peabody is definitely pulling out a blue undertone 
it's more on the blue side of a teal so that's why I pulled that out so you can see like the relation between these two colors so now we only have Cleopatra worth waiting for and I'd like to thank the Academy this color is more on the blue end of teal Cleopatra is more green and so is I'd like to thank the Academy so the only thing we have left is worth worth waiting for but I'm gonna bring Midsummer's Night back in. To me, this color is almost like a combination of Midsummer's Night and Worth Waiting For. It's kind of like right in that like color family. Last but not least, we have Dirty Little Secret. And as anyone knows, purple is one of my favorite colors, which is why I shared this color last. Oh! <laughs> Yes, it's not even open all the way and I love it. <gasps> I wish you guys could see my facial reactions. This is definitely a nice dark like plum purple. I don't know if the camera is going to show this color justice like at all. With the color gels, we have Bougie Babe, Missing You Madly, and Hashtag Way Talented. And they have nothing to compare. You can see how close of like a color range these three colors are. So let's take those away. We have Persian Plum, Isn't It Ionic, Show Me Your Spots, Madam Mim, and All Hands on Deck. Madam Mim doesn't go, so let's pull that away. And Isn't It Ionic, let's pull that away. I'm gonna pull away, show me your spots, cause that is dark. Next, all we have left is All Hands on Deck and Persian Plum. Now, All Hands on Deck is more of your indigo purple. And Persian Plum is not a bad color. What I'm pulling out is this from the P Plus, and this is an older bottle but the color is Cup of Ambition. It might be slightly hard to compare these two, but okay, if you could see that, this is Cup of Ambition with Dirty Little Secrets, and this is probably the closest I have to compare. It is almost a dead ringer, so if you have light elegance colors old colors in your collection and maybe you're running low on cup of ambition then dirty little secret is going to be like your closest your closest color to cup of ambition and yep and besides cup of ambition i would say all hands on deck also looks pretty close but all hands on deck has more of a blue like indigo undertone where Persian Persian plum where dirty little secrets is definitely a nice dark like fall plum color next we have what everyone's been waiting for we have the glitter gels so let's open them up and let's compare and let's see what we have let's start with Miss Suspicious <gasps> this is oh look at that glitter So, Light Elegance is saying that this is a light rose gold with matte white pieces, and it's a neutral salmon pink. But, so, and I don't know if you can get those white pieces on camera, but I, I don't know if they show up. But this is a really cool color. I definitely see this more of like your neutral color. I definitely see more of in that like rose, rose gold family that they're saying. I thought I had more colors to compare, but I honestly don't. Either of the colors I have are either too pink or too rose gold. So right off the bat, smoothie is not gonna compare. Smoothie is more of your 
um, light brown neutral. We have nudie here and we have Miss Suspicious. So they are, I would say they're in the same family. The only way that these two would differ from each other is that Miss Suspicious has the white pieces of glitter in there. And it may be hard to compare on the camera, but I definitely can tell that this is Miss Suspicious, which is this one. It is slightly different, but they are really close in color. Next, let's go with What's Your Alibi? And this is a copper brown color. And light LA, I'm seeing like more of a copper over a brown, like more of like an orange copper, like a copper penny when it's shiny and new. That is what I'm seeing. And it has, if you could see it, it it's a fine and a chunky glitter together, which I, I, I really like this combination of glitter. If you can see, there are little teeny pieces of a holographic glitter in there that give it like an extra little bit of a shine. So I have only two glitters to compare. So right over here we have cinnamon and we have an oldie but a goodie. And this is Trick or Treat, which was from Light Elegance's infamous like Halloween collection. This is cinnamon and this is What's Your Alibi. And I don't know if they're gonna show on camera, but cinnamon is slightly more, it's lighter but this is all like fine glitter. Um, what's your alibi is pulling a little bit more like in the orange, like more of an orange copper. And then we have this one right here. And this is trick or treat from the old Light Elegance um, Halloween collection. But the orange in both of these are almost in that same like family. This is definitely more, this is orange and a black glitter. But it's, yeah, it, it's an interesting color combination. Next, let's go with Smoking Gun. Ooh, this is an interesting color. It looks more gray, like a gray color with, I don't know, like hint of like a purple or like a fuchsia or there's a hint of something else in here okay so light elegance saying that this is a soft taupe taupey color with fine pink glitter to me this is looking more gray and light elegance doesn't usually make colors like this i don't have a lot of glitter gels like this i will say that one in this like color range so i'm not gonna have like a big huge comparison for this definitely don't have anything to compare but yeah i mean these two definitely don't compare at all but i wanted to show them to you anyway so this one we have leave the lights on we have smoke and gun and we have elvis pelvis as you can see elvis pelvis is definitely does not compare this is a chunky silver um holographic like color so let's pull that one out of the way and leave the lights on is definitely more silver compared to smoke and gun. So I definitely don't have anything to compare. This is definitely a unique color in my collection. Next, let's go with no clue. Ooh. Ew. 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 Yes. So light elegant saying that this is a fine glitter. It is a dark blue and green with a black undertone. But can I just point out, there are flecks of like a hollow color in the background, which is why I'm freaking loving this. This does look slightly more teal, maybe like a more on the lines of like a blue teal. I love colors like this. I definitely see that slight like black undertone to it that they're talking about. So I have three colors to compare and I have one that is almost 
a duplicate for this color. So in these three colors that I'm gonna compare are really, really close to no clue. So we have Peacock, Siren's Song, and Lagoon. Siren's Song is chunkier and it's slightly a little bit lighter. So let's take that out. Now we're left with Peacock and Lagoon. I can see a tiny bit of resemblance with some of like the blue and green glitters with Peacock, but it's not 100%. So let's take this out of the way. Last, we have Lagoon. So this is Lagoon and this is No Clue. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, they are almost completely identical. Maybe... Maybe the only thing that's different is that No Clue has a black undertone to it. That's basically about it. Is that this has a black undertone to it. And if this didn't have the black undertone, it would probably be almost completely identical to Lagoon. So I hope that helps. Now let's go with Caught Red Handed. Yep, that's what I knew. And I know exactly the color. I freaking love this color. And I know exactly the color that I want to compare this to. And Caught Red Handed, Light Elegance is calling this a Candy Apple Red. And with the color comparison that they're saying on their website, a Candy Apple Red. If you've been around for a while, you know exactly what color I'm going to compare this to. This is Candy Apple. You have Caught Red Handed and Ravishing Red. These are the two closest reds I'm going to have to compare to Caught Red Handed. And no, my camera is not going to do this color justice at all. Like my lighting is not going to pick up the colors here. So let's do Ravishing Red first. So this is Ravishing Red. And this is caught red-handed. So they're almost in that same color family. The glitter is just finer with this. And this is more red. Ravishing red is more red than caught red-handed. And then last, we have candy apple. And they're saying that rabbit, Caught Red Handed is a Candy Apple Red. Well, this is Candy Apple, and this is a red. And the colors are almost, it's hard to tell, but the colors are almost identical. The only difference between Candy Apple and Caught Red Handed is I, th I don't, maybe the size of the glitter. Um... And I want to say there's another, there's a different color that separates these two colors out. And I can't figure out which one it is. But they're almost in that same family. So if you have Candy Apple Red and you're like me and you don't want to like use this color a lot because you don't want to like use all of it, I would definitely use Caught Red Handed or Ravishing Red. Last but not least, we have Questionable Motives. I've been saving this one for last. Because as soon as I read the description, I knew that this might be one of my favorite colors. And yes, I was right. <gasps> Look at that glitter. This is definitely a chunky glitter. These are almost like triangle pieces. And we have never, I wouldn't say never, I don't think we've seen a chunky glitter like this from Light Elegance. I freaking love this glitter. So Light Elegance is saying that this is a teal and lavender with mirror-like reflective, with a mirror-like reflective shine. And I definitely can see that. But this almost looks like if you were to break like glass on the floor or you break something like a plate on the kitchen floor and everything shatters into like five million little like pieces 
that's what the sides of this glitter, that's what this glitter is like looking, is almost like a shattered like glass. But it's looking, it, to me it has like a, um, a chameleon look to it. So one minute it'll look lavender and next minute it'll look teal, which I freaking love. So here I have questionable motives. I didn't think to compare this before. Here is what the glitter looks like up close. It's almost like I was saying like shards of like broken glass and it has a chameleon look to it with purple and teal. Now what I didn't think to compare this to was this. This is a loose glitter from Glitter Boutique Canada and this is a chameleon in teal purple loose glitter. If you can see, see the color shifts in this loose glitter from Glitter Boutique Canada. See that like chameleon with like the teal and purple that has the same color, that same questionable motives is the same chameleon color as this one from Glitter Mix Glitter Boutique Canada. The only difference is the shape of the glitter. I love everything that the collection has. Any of the color gels, we really haven't seen anything like some of the colors. Predator in Pink was a new color that we haven't seen before. Dirty Little Secrets is almost an exact copy of Cup of Ambition. So if you don't have Cup of Ambition, Dirty Little Secret is a really nice color to have in your collection. As for the glitters, Questionable Motives is really interesting. I actually really like it because we don't, we've never seen anything like it from Light Elegance. The little pieces of almost looks like broken glass and it has like a chameleon color to it. So one minute it's purple, next minute it's teal. What's Your Alibi is a really, really cool like orange copper color for fall. That I would say maybe do with like dusting for prints or a black would look really cool for Halloween. So Smoking Hot. Smoking Hot is a nice interesting color from Light Elegance because we've never seen a gray color or like a taupey glitter gel from this collection. So as an, an all, I will say this fall collection, I freaking love everything about it. I love that we saw some new glitter gels that we haven't seen before from Light Elegance, especially with like the Predator and Pink. I've never seen that color from Light Elegance whatsoever. I hope you guys love this collection. Did you get this collection? Did you buy the collection as a whole? Did you get one or two colors here and there? Let me know in the comments. What are your favorite colors? What are your favorite glitter gels? As I said, I can't really... It's hard for me to say if I don't like a color, I kind of like everything. And I see how the collection goes together as a whole. I can't wait for the buttercreams to come out. And I wanna see how the buttercreams fit in with this fall collection with the color gels and glitter gels. I will see you soon. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you later, bye.